Okay, everybody, short, sweet, quick video. Bitcoin is about to hit $50,000. This has not happened in a very long time since May. May 10th, to be exactly, because May 13th, we got all the way up to 49800 49, So just 200 300 bucks away. But as you can see, back in April, May, we were doing pretty well. And the, the fun really started over the way over here when we started breaking records, which this was in February. We had this big jump and March was a huge month for cryptocurrency. That's when we had a record broken. And we're like, oh my goodness. And then April, all time high, the last bits of April, that was when everyone like, wow, we're getting there to 100K. And then we dropped and people thought, oh, we're getting down to 20K. But now, 48700 We did hit actually $49,350. And that was over the past 24 hours. Bitcoin, our Bitcoin is pretty excited as always. Bitcoin detractor Peter Schiff admits Bitcoin could hit 100K and regrets not buying. Selling house to buy Bitcoin. Just moved coins into cold storage for the first time. What would you ask Satoshi Nakamoto if he had the chance? $1,200 stimulus check would now be worth eighty-seven sixty-five in Bitcoin. Lambo. It means more than just a car. All right. Well, yeah. Welcome to the hype fest. And this is where we're at. Extreme Greed 78. You know, compare that to last month. This has changed quite a bit. And it's not just Bitcoin too, but we've surpassed over 2 trillion, approaching 2.1 trillion. Look at that. The dominance did fall. So there we go, focused. We are under 44%. But look at where Ethereum is, approaching 3,300. Look at where BNB is, approaching $500. So a lot of activity. Dogecoin's number seven. We got Polkadot and Cardano both doing pretty well so pretty interesting time right now now for the market cap and for bitcoin and for everybody to hit new all-time highs we're still not there yet but once we get to 2.6 trillion we're going to be making new records again so the big psychological barrier right now is 50k we're so close if we get to 50k that's it we might have another chance to hit 60 and then 70. So this time, if we would make a new all-time high, maybe this time before the end of the year, a lot of the activity over the past few cycles usually happens September, but mainly October, November. September is the run-up. October and November is when these super hot months happen, right before the holidays, and everybody's super excited. They're getting their paychecks, their fat paychecks, and they want to see Bitcoin hit new all-time highs. This is what's happening, everybody. I'm pretty excited. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens over the next week. And uh, happy rest of your August, guys. Five days till I fly out. So that's going to be pretty fun. I'm going to take you with me. Have a good one. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.